All right, all right, welcome back. We are going to search, I guess the outer edge of this park. I've been here before. I've never hit this particular area. It's very, uh, it's not barky, but it's, it's full of a bunch of uh, oak leaves. Putting gloves on so you know it's gonna be uh, serious business. I'll get back to you when we find something. All right, just like that. Just set the thing down. And I got a 28 right in here. A little deeper. A little deeper yet. I'm gonna keep the camera on you. <laughs> there it is. I should take these lousy sunglasses off because I can't see anything. Oh, it looks like an old one. Wish I could read it. I think I'm gonna go run to the car and grab my other glasses. So when I do find things, I can tell you what they are until waiting to the end. All right, now I got my eyeballs on and I'm glad I went and did that because look at that, I've got a nickel here that's a, a 58. That's a pretty old one for this area. Don't find too many that old. Pretty cool. Okay, let's keep looking. This was like a 25, 26. It gets right in here. Oh, there it is. And it's another, looks like a little older nickel. And I've got my glasses so I can read this thing. What year are you? You are only an 82. So what do we get like a 58 and an 82. Look at that NASA jet's been flying over the last few days. Some kind of NASA laboratory. Old, uh, I think it's a DC-8 that's been flying around, real low altitude, just circling around all day long. And I've got a 49.50 right about there. I went and got the bigger digger. Shameless promotion, this is a uh, CKG shovel. I've had this thing for a while, it's pretty beat up, it's done me real well. You want one? Uh, CKG, promo code, go to cjskiescoops.com, promo code SAD for Seek and Detect, or run down to my uh, video description, and uh, I've got an Amazon link for one there too, so take your pick. As long as you get one, they're nice, I like them, look at this thing, it's held up pretty well. Okay, let's see what we got, what was that, 49, 50, well, I'm in the right area. Use this thing as a knee pad. Get down in here. Oh boy. That was quite a scoop. Oh, look like I'm doing some proper landscaping now. Let's see what that did. Where are you? Huh. That can't be it. How did that bottle cap... That had to have been on the surface. That looked way too nice to be eight inches underground. It is a little piece of iron. <laughs> All that digging for that and a Modelo cap. Another 88, 89, not very deep. Sounds nice and clear. We've been duped once. Let's see if it's another sprinkler head. Or if it's an actual quarter, look at that. It actually is this time. And that looks like a newer one. I won't even put my glasses on. Newer quarter, okay. It was actually a target. All right, right next to the quarter I just picked up. I've got a 60, 61, more than likely a penny. Did I just flick it? That sloppy turn of the dirt there. Or is there something else? Where did you go? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Some kind of electronic component. Component. Couple of connectors there. Probably a buzzer or something. Also, just to let you know, the last video I posted actually was this morning. This, today's Saturday. I posted a video this morning that I have a, a new contest in, so you might want to go back and check that one out. It's the one with the tent stakes and the title and the 
thumbnail, there's a contest in that one for $25. And I'm gonna pick a winner next next Saturday, maybe Friday night, something like that. Um, just watch the video, you'll see how it works. It's really simple and it's anybody, anybody can win. You'll see, all right. All right, I took a scoop and flipped it over. And I had like a 25, 26 here. A couple of nickels here already. Let's see if, see if it's a third nickel. That would be pretty cool. I just dropped it back in there. Where are you? Oh, there it is. What is that thing? It is part of a beaver tail. All curled up, gold one. Okay, not a nickel. Uh, very clean, 35. Very shallow too. Be surprised if I have to dig much. Well, look at that. No, nope, there you go, just a little off, a little off. Get an idea where the middle is. Is it in there? It is. And it's the other, <laughs> it's the ring. The ring from that beaver tail I just dug up. Oh, I got the whole set. Look at that. All right, I got a solid 44, 46. It's right in here. I cleared away the, the leaves already. And yeah, we've got it out of the hole. It looks like it could be this little gem. It's an old Pepsi bottle cap. Aluminum. Let's get over here with that. Oh, there it is. Wow, that's a nice one. Complete. And, uh, you know, I gotta check the value on this guy. Polish it up a little, and it is gonna be a gem. I got something right on the surface here. And something else over there too. <laughs> okay. Very, very trashy area. Is it this thing? It is this thing. What is that? I didn't even notice that. Looks like some kind of a sensor or something. I don't know. You know what that thing is? You tell me. Looks like it screws onto the surface of something. And Oh, you know, I know what it is. It's a... Uh, it's a little locking. This thing twists like that. It's for like a, a canvas cover or something. You'd snap that thing over. That's exactly what that is. It's been painted. All right. A 60 right in the middle of this pile. Thought I saw it right away there. Another penny. All right, a good solid 31. This could be a really uh, primo. There it is. Primo pull tab. Very nice recent drops. All right, we'll call this one a surface find. Looks like a, oops, let's cover the numbers there. It looks like a credit card for living spaces. It's a uh, furniture store near here. Let's see if I can return this. Speaking of returning things, I will uh, show you a little clip of Something that happened to me today at the grocery store. Had another phone, a uh, lost phone found and reunion. I'll clip it in right here so you can see it was kind of kind of fun. I'm turning into like a phone return guy, I think. Okay, I'm filming this because I'm at the grocery store now. And uh, I found another one of these again. Look at that. Not even metal detecting. Let's see if the uh, contacts are set like that last video. And uh, maybe we can call somebody here. There you go, there's a number. I will give it a try. Let's see if that's going through. Try that again. It just call failed. Oh, the battery is almost dead. I'm gonna have to go out and charge this thing. Okay, we'll try it again and see if, uh, maybe somebody will call while I've got it. All right, so I was able to get a little charge out of this phone and uh, power it up and um, in case you find an iPhone, this is exactly what you do. You, you, you get the passcode screen here. Hopefully you can see that. And there's an emergency contact down here at the bottom. You hit that thing and then there's medical ID, hit that. And then you'll get hopefully um, 
a contact here, a number to call to try and, uh, you know, return the phone. So I have called the sister of the owner. Um, they're sending the owner over to the store here to pick the thing up. I got the name and everything. So hopefully we'll have a, uh, a phone reunion. That would be great. All right, little uh, FYI so you know what to do when you find a phone. All right, we got a little volleyball court here to search some sand. I don't have my sand scoop with me, but I don't know. We see something good. We will find it if we dig it. We will dig it if we find it. Which way does that go? Okay, we'll do it. All right, our first target is over here in the corner. It looks like a gopher. Might have pulled this out. It's like a 42, 44. Or was it right in here somewhere? Oh, I think I see it. And it is just a piece of, uh, maybe a piece of trim from a car or something. Huh. And the gopher pulled it up out of his hole there. <laughs> okay, keep going. Another target over here on the edge. 77 to uh, about 80. Yeah, nice soft sand to dig here. Almost like being at the beach. Seventy-one. Well, how deep we'll go? Let's say right about there. What do you think? Uh-oh. I don't have a good feeling about this. I'm thinking there's a an old sprinkler head down here. It's right down there. Let's see if we strike gold. And by gold, I mean pipe. Oh, it's still soft. Got a root down there. Oh boy, pulling something big up now. Oh boy. Wow, <laughs> look at that. Makes sense, right next to the tennis courts. <laughs> Caught the rim of this thing. All right, wonder how old that is. Anybody date this thing? Prince, tour, dynamic core, rule the court. All right, we continue. Starting to get a little dark. I think I have a wedding or something going on in the background. Hopefully the copyright on the music doesn't kill my kill my video. We got a 22 right here, real shallow. Should be right there. Let's see what we got. It looks like a nice, yes, a nice pull tab again. Just the beaver tail part. We'll have to keep searching for the ring. Yep. All right, a bunch of noise right in here. And, oh, I do see this guy. Can we call it a tent stake? I don't know. It's just a loop of wire. Maybe that was all of our, all of our noise. I think that was it. Something right in here too. I don't know, I was swinging around getting a bunch of different, a bunch of different numbers. Oh yeah, look at that, I got a nut too. All right, maybe that's it. We'll take another wipe over the area and see. And I took another peek under here and I found this. It looks like a, a bronze or brass nut. Some kind of, probably for electrical. I'm next to a big high voltage box here. That was kind of neat. All right, last target before the car. We had a, uh, what was that thing? It was like a 3031, probably a pull tab. I take one little scoop here that's real soft, barky dirt. Got something over here. Is that it? Oh, piece of, oh, what is that? It is a fancy, look at that pull tab. That one is, uh, that one is artistic. That looks like a piece of jewelry. All right, that's it. We're heading out, stick around, and uh, we'll go over everything in the uh, wrap up. Okay, a little wrap up and review. We're back now. Here's the stuff we found today. This is the junk department over here. It was a piece of a automotive trim or something. 
Some scrap metal, some bottle caps, a couple of nice beaver tails, one really nice one here, a complete. Those are really rare, you know, that's a, that's a, maybe I can restore that one, I don't know. Uh, these are the uh, pull tabs and a big pop top, uh, pull top from a, uh, you know, it was near a tennis court, so there was some tennis ball cans like this one, which was an old one I dug up with the aluminum edge on it, and it's an old Prince can. I don't know how old that thing is, but it was pretty deep under the volleyball court. All right, let's see some bottle caps, and we get some one, two, three, four, five, six, is that seven pennies? Couple coppers, maybe. Pretty chewed up. Some of them uh, starting to dissolve a little. Three nice old nickels. One fairly old one, 58. That was a pretty cool nickel designer. I think that was the first target I found. A quarter, and let's go with these guys here. This is a little twist. Um, I had seen these on like an old convertible car where you have the convertible top down and you put the boot over the top of it and then you can latch the the cover over with that and then the thing twists and locks in place. Pretty sure that's what that is. This is from a circuit board, it's a little buzzer. And then a couple of old nuts here. Well, not old, but uh, buried near an electrical uh, control box. And they both, I sanded them a little, they both look like they're some sort of brass or copper alloy. I can't tell the color in the rim's a little yellow, but um, they kind of look brass or copper to me. Um, they feel a little heavy, so that was kind of interesting. That also found this credit card. It was a surface find uh, for a local furniture store. See if I can locate the owner with the name. Uh, that's going to do it for today. We got some more hunting tomorrow. Uh, I've got a big day tomorrow. Quite a bit of hunting to do. So um, be sure to subscribe and uh, watch my future videos. You don't want to miss them because I've got another contest running. If you watch the previous video to this one, the one I uh, posted actually this morning, by the time you see this, it'll be tomorrow. But I'm running a contest in that one where you... Guess, uh, well, watch the video. I dig up a bunch of tet stakes, and you'll see. In the end of the video, I announce a little contest, something fun, something random. Anybody at home can, uh, wherever you're at, you can participate in. And uh, we'll give away a $25 gift card again next week. So, um, again, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.